Titan FPSs to an absolute perfection, but and it got us, it got it got them out of the goddamn World War II setting. Thank Even you. though they went back to it later, but still, that's interesting enough because uh, I don't know. The screenshot makes it hard to tell whether it's modern or World War II. I guess that's really poor screenshot choice. It's just you get such a bad look at the uh, at the uniform. But yeah, you know, again, I, I, I put it on the list, but it's way too I high. I know. Sorry, another interruption. Go on. Wait, I, I put it on the list, but it's way too high. Turn that down. I can't. Mute it. Are you talking to yourself again, Laura? <laughs> uh, be prepared to hear a lot of Dragon Age Origins in the background, fellas, because my brother is very unabashedly sitting down to play his Xbox right next to me. I don't and I mean anything. literally two feet away. I don't hear anything. He's going to turn it on, I'm assuming. The well, system okay. is still going. It, uh, it's still going. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, okay, uh, number 13, Super Mario 64. Yeah. Higher than Galaxy, I hope you I hope you're satisfied. Yeah. Wow, Sunshine does not even get a mention. That Sunshine is, really... Sunshine should be on the list. I, I enjoyed Sunshine more than I did Galaxy. Oh, blasphemy. So did I. Blasphemy. <laughs> so, so, ah. In a way, so did I, but um, it, uh, not fun factor so much as innovation. It actually tried to do something new. In the water packless levels, it actually felt like the old 2D games in 3D. Which makes me question as to why we think Sunshine is better than Galaxy. The weird thing about Galaxy, though, is it has more water levels than Sunshine. I know. More really? swimming levels, specifically. It, it, it makes no sense. It's like, it's like no that alone flood. is enough I'm not to... cleaning is enough to... PD. It's worth it to get 120 <laughs> stars in Galaxy than it is to get 120 shine sprites in Sunshine. And it had the best commercial ever. Clean is better than dirty, but neat is better than clean. The... Oh, God. All right, the biggest problem with 64 <laughs> was the retro camera, which sucked because they were new. Um, I could forgive the, the camera problem, because it was the first game of its kind. The, so The biggest problem with Galaxy is its difficulty, which is way too low. The biggest problem with Sunshine is that it recycles the same environment type for ev- almost every level, and it recycles... It recycles the same objectives for getting shine sprites way too often. And worst of all, it has so few levels, but so many missions per level. Yeah. 64 is still the best. Yeah, I I, I can see that for its time, you know. Galaxy. I still enjoy 64. Galaxy more. Galaxy. 64. I can't. I what can't about... get into 64 because I'm too. I came to, came to it too late. I have what so about... many. I remember getting my 64 and 64 and plugging it the... in for the first time and seeing that were Mario the... face pop were you up. The... Were you the screaming N64 kid? No. <laughs> I remember opening a video game magazine, probably GamePro, and staring at one of the reviews for Mario 64 and wishing I had an N64, but I never got one. I remember getting the wing cap for the first time. It was epic. Galaxy. 64. I hate, I hate you, Jack. I hate you, Dad. You never bought me an N64. 64. So I hope die out there at sea. 64. And thus we know why Titus hates his father. Because he didn't get him a goddamn N64. N64. Galaxy. 64. Well... We can do oh, this all night, man. 64. <laughs> oh, I, say 12. Hey, I have, hey, I have 12. the power of the N64 hey, hey, hey. kid on my side. I can just get a clip nah, of him and nah, just repeat nah, nah, it nice. over and don't over. Don't make me raise my voice, because if I raise my voice, I'm going right, to be interrupted all right, all right. again. Don't, don't make me turn this car around. <laughs> Moving on. 12. 12. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Fuck yes. I've played part of it. It's awesome, but I haven't had time to finish it, if you know Have what you I ever mean. done the glitch where you can get all the items from pretty much the get-go, Johnny? I've done the glitch where you can beat the game in less than seven minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, huzzah. <laughs> okay. Uh, to me, personally, I think it's the best Zelda game ever made. I personally enjoyed <laughs> Ocarina of Time more, but I can understand the debate on why people would say Link to the Past is better. Okay, at number 11, we have a game that's actually so good that it turns people into emotionless zombies. World of Warcraft for the PC, released in 2004. Oh, wow, the first big memoir figure. Yeah, indeed. 
<laughs> Yahtzee reference here. Insert, please. Strike that. Reverse it. Ha! I referenced two funny people at once. I'm so awesome. Thank you, Gene Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, Mrs. Pac-Man, which oh, it lists at 10 this... because apparently it's better than the original Pac-Man. It is better than the original. Yeah, it, it is better than the original. It's uh, not just the same maze the over and over at different I sp- have heard so many stories from my parents about how they would go to the arcade and play Miss Pac-Man for hours when they were dating. Such as the power of Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. Apparent, apparently it originated as, as a bootleg Pac-Man made by two MIT students. Ah, funny trivia. Ha! Ah. And guess Sometimes- what? It's the only game that I ever lose to my parents. My mom... <laughs> will kick my ass in Miss Pac-Man. And I'm no slouch at it either. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Number nine. The sheer unbridled win of Super Mario Bros. 3. Yay. Incredible. Number nine and number two should have been swapped. Okay. That kind of already gives me the feeling of what number two is. We'll get to it later. Oh, if you didn't see number two and number one coming, you, you were just, you would lack foresight. Um, but, all right. uh, Super uh, Mario Brothers 3. Ugh, I have so many tunes stuck in my head from Mario 3 now that they've been remixed in new Super Mario Brothers hey, week. Hey, 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 viewers, I have a, a challenge for you. Um, Play back that last bit and see if you can actually make out the dialogue between Donnie and Wapa. Um, this half edition of the Mario 3 theme. Yeah, um, you know what's kind of ironic is that you were cutting off while you said that, so <laughs> the audience won't get what you just said there. <laughs> uh, unless, unless for some reason Audacity gets me better than you guys are again. Uh, but uh, moving on, number eight, Final Fantasy three. By which they mean Final Fantasy six, because they're well. At least they noted the uh, proper Roman numeral in the note this time. And I of course, it. the strange shot is the opera scene, which uh, is awesome, but still way overrated because yeah. it's sixteen bit. And if you were that a, moved by it, Spoonie, you are a sad, it's sad a, man. It's the heiress of the sixteen bit generation. Yeah, the most overused Except screenshot. It's, it's actually it's actually better than Eris's death, but you know, yeah. uh, I'll I'll um, give it that much. I, 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 will, I, I don't need to say anything else. That everybody pretty much knows I love the game to death. So considering you're I, considering you're playing it for our commentary channel, true. Okay, I have I have to uh, say something else about Woolsey's translation here again. He made a very valiant, if not entirely successful, effort to. Um, match the rhythm of the text to the actual music. What do you mean? He managed oh, he's... It, uh, at least a half the time. Not quite the entire time, but half the time. It worked. You're talking about the opera so, scene? Yes. My well, hat is off game... to Ted Woolsey for managing to pull that Ted off. Ted Woolsey did a good job, but the guy who retranslated it for Game Boy Advance got it spot on. Yeah. The words and rhythm go perfectly with the melody. Yeah, but then again, the, but then the, again, I like doesn't Woolsey the GBA like, version like lack the charm of Ted Woolsey's it translation? Lacks, well, it's, well, the thing is that the retranslation is much closer to the original Japanese script, so it, it does lack the charm of the Woolsey translation, which is why I do like the Woolsey translation more. But I still give props to the retranslator because it is a much more refined script. Ah, huh, okay. Well, I, I, I'm in. I'm. I plan to play it play it through soon the awful music kind of turns me off to it you know i yeah, i kind of kind of holding out somewhat for a psp remake oh god that'll never happen but i hope it does yeah all right uh, number seven is the original metroid ness 1986 also I, known uh, as the first game that requires you to move to the left when you start a game <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you have the option of moving to the right you yeah. do, but you're not going to get very far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is innovation, my friends. Oh, and don't forget... Because of that, it's better than Super Metroid. <laughs> and don't forget Justin Bailey. Justin Bailey. Of course, doesn't remember that. All right. I love how they didn't get the manual right when they translated it, when they brought it over to America. What, what classifying Samus as a E? Yeah. 
I think that was the, I think that was on purpose. Oh, really? I heard it was just a mistake because they didn't really bother to actually look at the Japanese and yeah, they just kind of read it themselves. Everyone always quotes 